Welcome to ORAD's presentation of Powerwall here at IPC 2014. Now this year we're showing how we can fill this large display surface and ticker at the top with high resolution graphics from a single HDVG4 rendering platform. The HDVG4 gives us the ability to generate very high resolution graphics for different types of video wall and display surface. Now I'm controlling the graphics here from my Surface tablet using TD Control. Now, here I'm going to bring in some weather graphics to show how we can use our canvases inside Render Engine to send graphics to specific parts of the display. So here I can bring my weather into just this vertical section. Let's uh, go in and see what the weather is like in, in Chamonix. So we can bring in very high resolution, very detailed graphics into our display very easily. Let's just go back to our main map. And now we will go through to a science show. So in here, we use the same concept of canvases where we can set that graphics appear in specific regions of the screen. In this case, to have one panoramic area here with another section at the bottom. Now, if we take a look at the display over here, I will just pan my camera across a little bit. We're using a head from Telemetrics that's providing us tracking data. We use this tracking data inside the graphics to introduce a 3D effect to the scene. So I just walk across to one side, and now as I move the camera, you'll see in the screen here what the viewers see at home. We'll see that the International Space Station will respond to the tracking data as the camera moves, and it will provide like a window through the video wall into a 3D space. So we have this parallax effect, which we, which we call our screen flower, which brings life to the video wall, makes it into a 3D environment. If I now change to my video scene, I can bring in my live video sources. The HDVG4 supports up to 16 in HD 1080i or 8 in 3G. And what we've done is we've connected these video windows to the tracking data so that when the camera is moving, the video windows are turning to face the camera so that the viewers at home will always see the content facing them and oriented towards them. So as you see, as I move the camera back, the video windows are changing position, changing orientation, so that they always face the viewer. Now, one final thing I'd like to show you is interactivity on our video wall. Now, we're partnering with a company called Move that are providing us with an interactive device that allows the presenter to interact with the video wall itself. So you see that now it's running, I'm selecting the video, and I can now position it on screen. I can grab other items, move them around. So now the presenter is free to be in different places inside the studio space, interact with the graphics directly without having to stand in front of the video wall to do this. One final thing is, of course, our LED at the top. We're using the same DVG to power the graphics that go into, inside our LED strip because we can create different canvases of different aspect ratios to match the display surfaces perfectly. So now I'll just control my ticker up there, change the data inside. So from the same station, I can control different videos, different content within the wall quickly and easily. Thank you very much for watching this video. If you need more information, please contact us at orad.tv. Thank you very much.